You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. That's my hand up there. I was just kind of animating myself there. If you could see it in the red, that's my hand. Uh, thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to check out this uh, Stir Spoon set. Now, this is from Maud Barup. I don't know much about Maud. I do know that it is an all-female-owned company, I believe. At least that's what it says on the packaging. I get four counts. Four count. It's a four-count pack of dark chocolate peppermint, raspberry, but it's uh, pronounced raspberry, milk chocolate caramel, and s'mores. Now you just take your sticks, put them in the warm milk or hot milk, and they melt. See, swirl cocoa spoon into one cup. That's eight ounces of hot milk. Stir until chocolate is completely melted. See a little picture there, stir? What does it say on this side? Nothing, it's a gift pack. So you can go to from, so to me, from me. So sweet and good and meant to share. Uh, the perfect treat to show you care. Oh, and that's all the nutritional facts on the back. And it's kind of like a pinkish, pinkish packaging with this off-white and then little snowflakes and then the rest of it's blue with little snowflakes or little dots like snowballs and then the trees, kind of like the other packaging I had from them. Stir spoon set. Well, you know what? I must get the milk, but let's get this out of the packaging and let us take a look. I was excited to, well, this is the last of all the different chocolate sets. I saved this one till the end. I don't know, because it just looked so tasty. So the first one is a dark chocolate, and then it has a peppermint candy, right? Dark chocolate peppermint candy. The second one is the raspberry, and it's got a little marshmallow green Christmas tree. This one is the milk chocolate caramel. So it's got little chunks of caramel on it and milk chocolate, and the last one is the s'mores. So it looks like it's got chocolate and marshmallows. Now is there stuff inside? I don't know. There's stuff that has fallen. It's hard to see. I have to adjust the lighting. And then the little stick. It's like a popsicle stick. A wooden popsicle stick. And it says hug in a mug. I might just do all four. I don't know. We'll see. First I need to get eight ounces times four on the milk. So let me get that going. And then uh, we'll continue on. Okay, so that's, uh, let's see, two cups is 16, so we need four cups, right? Eight ounces, eight ounces times four. Okay, so here we go. There's 16. Right there. That's a lot of milk. Now, you probably would not do these all at one time like this. You know, you'd have one on a Sunday. One on a Tuesday, one on a Wednesday, maybe, and save the other one for the weekend. But for me to show you all four at one time, I'm going to use a lot of milk. It does not say use water that I saw. Okay, wow. Okay, so that's going to take some time to heat up. Let's get it going. I'll spare you some of this like I've done on the past videos, and I will just let this slowly heat up. I'll check back once in a while till I'm ready. Well, let's do this. Let's move this off to the side. Let's get the lid on it. That's going to help. And I might as well just do it. I've got four mugs. One, two, three, four. So, there is one. Okay. Two, the caramel. Three, four. Now they may not stay this way, but at least I got them out of the packaging and I can get the little pieces that have fallen off. Okay. I might just take this, pour this one, stir this one. We'll see. Oh, can you see all four? How's that? Better? Okay, so now I can come back and check the milk temp, get that up to 160. That's what I'll probably do. They're ready to go. I'll just pour in milk in this one, stir it and watch it. Taste it and move on. It's gonna be a lot of chocolate and sweet milk I'll be drinking. But oh, by the way, I remembered now, hold on, let me grab something. Okay, I don't know if this video has gone live yet, depending on the video you're watching, but the flavor of this, I was struggling. It tastes like warm milk. That's what I tasted when I was uh, uh, eating this. And then when I was making these videos, I reminded myself, hmm, this candy cane tastes like 
Warm milk. Yes, that's it. All right, let's keep going. Okay, it's getting pretty close. I actually have it on high, so I'm being very careful here. Uh, I'm at 144, so I might just pour my first one and see how that... Let me turn this down a little. Let me move this off to the side. Now I'll pour the first one, see if it melts good at 140, because that was the original temperature. 160 if you like your hot cocoa really hot. Okay, so I have an order over there on the left by the box. Can you see that? So the first one was the dark chocolate peppermint. So let me move this out of the way carefully. Keep the heat going and I'll take some off, try to keep stirring. And But it's steaming really good. I could see it. You can't see it. Well, maybe I put the box there. You get a good idea how hot the milk actually is. So there's no question about it. Let's see. Can you see it steaming in front of that? In front of the plastic? I don't know if you can. No, I can't. All right. That was a fail. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know if you can hear it off to the side, but it sounds like it's bubbling. All right, and no burning. Right, I'm gonna have to pour this slow to get my eight ounces. Put this back on the heat, and then take this out, and then pour it in there, and stir. There's my first hot cup. Okay, here we go. Bad camera angle. I'm not getting any smells, like I'm not smelling the peppermint candy. It's uh, almost can see the spoon top now, so it is melting. Now from the side, I'll show you from the side. So yeah, I would say it's a quarter melted. It's hard to tell now. Let's see it on the side. See that? Just keep stirring, just keep stirring. All right. Let's go back up a little higher, bring the camera out. Uh, while that's sitting, let's sit a second. I'm going to stir my milk. So that's even getting hotter now. So hopefully by two and three, by the fourth cup, it's going to be the hottest. Okay, leave that there. That's on medium. Let's see what's left. Okay, so there's quite a bit left. So if you're going to do, oh, ooh, it just plopped off. Okay. I just want to eat the chunk of chocolate, to be honest with you. I don't even want to drink it. I want the chunk of chocolate. I would just eat that. Okay, so that one's pretty close. Let's leave that one. Let's bring in number two. Let's do a second pour over here. Eight ounces. This is even hotter now. Okay, I'm going to turn that heat down. Let's move this one, let that one melt. Let's look at this one. Mm. My milk head does have a little burnt chunk in it, or a brown chunk. Let me see if I can get that out. It's very distracting to me. Okay, it's still there, but not bad. Slipped in, I saw it. Let's put this one in. Mm. 
This is purple with a little marshmallow Christmas tree. That was the raspberry. So it does take time, even with the hottest of milk. So I'll let that sit a second. Let's bring this one back in. There's still a whole bunch of chocolate on the bottom. So my guess, oh, it's gone now. I just worked it. I worked it over in the in the mug. Let me taste the first one while it's still hot. It's not so hot that I can't drink it. Hmm, it's good. It's good. What kind of what kind of taste testing is that? Just to say it's good. All right, so you get a lot of the peppermint, less of the chocolate. The dark chocolate's going to make it a little. I don't know, to me it's like a little drier chocolate, if that makes sense. And it's not super sweet. Ooh, look at that. And now my milk in the second one is turning a very light, pinkishy purple. Okay, before I forget, I gotta stir this milk because it's bubbling next to me here. Okay, milk is getting nice and hot on that one. Let's see. Okay, so it's still attached to the spoon. It's got the little trees hanging on. Mm. Gonna go back to the first one. Yeah, that totally looks, oh, there's, oh, wait a minute. There was a tiny chunk right there. Should I do it? I really wanna do it. I'm gonna do it. Mmm. Now that tasted excellent. A little sweeter now because I got a big chunk of the chocolate. Mm, I like that one. We'll see what this one does. It's still attached to the spoon. So I might as well just wait on that one. Bring in number three. And now the milk. Yes, my milk is too hot now. this up real low okay milk in here you're gonna see a lot more chunks now because of the oh, let me see if I can get them out the milk it didn't burn it's just nice and brown in spots got one. Oh, it went in anyway it wasn't too bad all right, now we got super hot milk, and then put this one in. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get that last one out of the pan because it's so hot. I got to pour it this way. You'll see some pieces now. Let's check this one. So yeah, it, it takes a really super hot milk to melt that huge block. Here's the last one. This is the s'mores. So let that sit a second. Let's pull in the pull in the chocolate caramel. Yeah, look, that wa that milk had been there, uh, uh, bubbling to a, almost to a boil. And it just does not seem to want to melt it quickly. Okay, so this one's almost off the spoon. Let me just mix it feverishly. Come on, come on. Come on, drop off. I want to eat you and taste you. Let me use my other spoon. Just to finish it. There we go. All right. My marshmallow's in there. I'm eating a marshmallow. It's a nice, pretty purplish color. This one's starting to dissipate now. I really thought they would melt a lot quicker than this. 
and this super hot milk. That one's actually melting the best. Let me bring the camera up quite a bit here. I'll bring in the fourth one. We'll move this out of the way. Unplug the hot pad, because in the last video I actually touched it slightly on my thumb. Okay, so caramel. This is the last one. This is the second one. Okay, I think I'm good. There's just a little bit. Ooh, I want to eat that too. I think I'd rather just eat the chocolate, which is what I really wanted to do for the beginning. They look so good. I'm going to do it. Here we go. Hmm. Really strong raspberry flavor. The marshmallow was not soft. It's almost chewy. I'm still trying to break through it. But let's taste. Mmm. Very nice. That one is nice. I think the nicest one so far. Okay, this one's bubbling. Like I see little bubbles. It's still steaming. It's so hot. But look. It's not melting at all. This one was the hottest milk. I see steam still, still steam coming up from this mug. Okay, so between the first two, I do like the raspberry one, and it's got a really pretty color to it. It looks like you got to keep mixing these. These two are slowly starting to melt. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just need to do this. Here, let you look from the side. Okay, the last two. There's still one chunk of the caramel hanging on. Okay, yeah, so they're almost gone. You know, I guess I'm just, I guess I'm in a rush. Okay, honestly, I don't know why. I need to relax a little. Remember now, you're having hot cocoa on this fancy set with your friends. There's no rush. Just sit there and start talking. Oh, well, you're my friends. Hope you've had a good Christmas week. Yeah, perfect. All right, we're going to get it. These two are the same color. They're a nice, darker, richer looking chocolate. They're almost gone. But there's just enough for me to taste it on the spoon. Okay, so the milk chocolate caramel. I hate to say I want to bite it off the spoon, but I don't know if you have any kind of like uh, ice cream bars, like a Dove bar, and you get to the end, there's that little piece of chocolate stuck to the wood. That's what I feel like this is, and I want to eat it. I'm going to. Can't stop me now. Mmm, 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 mmm. Not as pleasant. I want to say, I don't like that caramel flavor. I got to do it with this one, too. S'mores. I'm just going to do it. There's no stopping me now. Mmm. It's actually mushy. That was good. A little more stirring, and that one would be gone. Let me try the s'mores. Now, that milk is sip hot. I mean, you cannot gulp it. For sure. Not that you would, but... Okay, let me try this one. Okay. I get it. It's like caramel. Hmm. Let me bring these in. That's the order on the packaging. Remember? Uh, dark chocolate raspberry. Uh, dark chocolate peppermint, raspberry, milk chocolate, and s'mores. Now, when I took a sip of this one, there was a s'more still on the bottom. I mean, a caramel chunk. Which do I like the best? I think I like the raspberry the best. 
It's not something I normally drink. Like, oh, let me have a cup of hot raspberry milk. The least is the caramel. I think so. It's going to be this order. It's going to be this one, this one, this one, and then this one last. And this one's piping hot. Okay, let me wrap this up. I want to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. I had... Uh, Enjoyed all of them, actually, but my favorite, again, was this. Hopefully you enjoyed this little mini-series of hot cocoa packs. Never done that before. Used up quite a bit of milk. And thanks for watching. Again, if you can, in the description area will be a playlist. And then there will be one in the comment section, because I always pin a comment there with a the playlist that goes with it. So this will be Christmas playlist. If you could just click on that, I'd uh, really appreciate it. That would be your gift to me. Just click on it. And just let that thing go. It's got like probably 200 videos in it. It would help me out tremendously. And thanks again for watching. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.